One of the last things I want to bring up with you is the owner of the New York Metropolitan, sir, um, and mm-hmm. and and his uh, spending uh, is a way that we I I I, I can't recall anything close to what uh, Steve Cohen has put out there and the luxury tax system. It, it does appear that there's an owner in Major League Baseball that just doesn't particularly care. I mean, I know I'm talking about another man's money here, but there's a nine-figure luxury tax bill, and that's larger than some payrolls uh, of entire teams. And I'm just wondering how that's landing within the ownership group that you might be willing to share with us, Commissioner. Well, look, I, I think it's important to start um, – from the proposition that, you know, we made an agreement with the MLBPA that puts a certain system in place. Mm -hmm. Um, That system is designed to create uh, certain disincentives to spending at certain levels. Um, But everything that Steve's done is completely within the rules. He has every right to do what what he's done. I think that um, it does when you know you have somebody who steps out that far it does highlight an issue that you know we have worked to manage um over you know the entire time since i started in baseball in 1988 and Mm -hmm. that is the disparity in revenues between our markets and the (laughs) consequential disparity in payrolls you know we sell competition um we want everybody to be able to compete and at some point, you know, the level of disparity, um, you know, raises questions about people's ability to compete. So, um, you know, I, I think that those two thoughts kind of bound the issue for me, one, one side and the other. And, you know, we're going to continue uh, uh, to try to make adjustments to our system as we move forward to make sure that we preserve that perception of competitiveness across our markets. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.